Hi guys! Today I will be doing number 2 on the 2002 AP Calculus AB free response questions. First I will go over the basics of this question. I think that this question is fairly difficult due to its length. There are parts A, B, C, and D. And also I think it's difficult because it's very calculator heavy. A trick to doing all of these questions fairly uh, easily and quickly is by knowing your calculator. So through this video I will teach you how to find the integral and how to use the solver function on a TI-84 plus silver edition graphing calculator. You will need to know those two particular functions for this problem but it should also help you throughout the entire AP exam. So let's get started. Number two reads, the rate at which people enter an amusement park on a given day is modeled by the function e. The rate at which people leave the same amusement park on the same day is modeled by the function l. Both E of T and L of T are measured in people per hour and time T is measured in hours after midnight. These functions are valid for 9 to 23, the hours during which the park is open. At time T equals 9, there are no people in the park. Question A reads, how many people have entered the park by 5 p.m.? Round your answer to the nearest whole number. So part A, we will need to set up an integral. We will set up the integral from... 9 to 17 e of t dt. We know to set this integral up because the park opens at 9, so our starting limit will be 9, and it asks how many people have entered by t equals 17. So our ending limit should be 17. Also we know to use e of t dt because e of t is the rate at which people enter the amusement park. and we're setting up the integral so that we can find how many people enter. For this question, you get one point for having the correct limits and one point for having the correct integral. Also, you do not need to copy this entire problem down since this is on the calculator section. And don't forget d of t, this is very important. So now I will show you how to solve this on your calculator. Here I have my TI-89, and I will turn this on, and I will go to math and we will go to integral, which is number 9, and all we have to do is plug in our problem. So I will plug in E, which is... and I'm doing this in terms of X. Also make sure that you have the correct parentheses or else it will tell you that you have an error, so you'll want to do that. Also, since I'm doing it in terms of X, I will do comma, which is found here, comma x, comma, and then our limits, which is 9 and 17. Enter, and you get 6,004. You want to make sure that you're as clear as possible on your answers, so you can write that 6,004 people, 6,004 people enter the park by 5. And that is our final answer. Moving on to part B. B reads, the price of admission to the park is $15 until 5 p.m. After 5, the price of admissions to the park is $11. How many dollars are collected from admissions to the park on the given day? Round your answer to the nearest whole number. For B, we must also set up another integral. However, we have already solved half the problem by finishing part A. In part A, we got that 6,004 people enter the park by 5 o'clock. And if you enter by 5 o'clock, it, co it costs $15. So you want to multiply this by 15 and add the remaining of the integral. So we left off at 17, so we are going to start at 17 and end at 23, which is when the park ends. And we do the same integral, e of t dt. And you could set this up, you could just change the uh, limits in your calculator and press enter again. And make sure you multiply this by 11, since it costs you $11 after uh, 5 o'clock. So once you do this, you should get 90,060 plus 13,984. Add those together, and you should get your final answer. And don't forget the dollar sign. For this problem, you get one point for setting it up, so make sure that you have your setup nice and clear and correct. Moving on to part C, C says, 
let h of t equal the integral 9 to t e x minus l x dx for 9 to 23. The value of h of 17 to the nearest whole number is 3725. Find the value of h prime of 17. Now for part c, we must find the derivative of h of t. They give us this. Using the fundamental theorem, this should be fairly easy because we could just plug in, sorry, we could just plug in t into our x's and multiply it by the derivative. So we should get that h prime of t equals e of t minus l of t times the derivative of t, which is just 1. And since they're looking for h prime of 17, we could just plug in h prime of 17. And once again, since this is calculator, all you need to show is the setup, just like so, and plug this into your calculator. Once you plug it in, you should get negative 380.281. And now for the second part, since this is what our h prime of 17 equals, the second part asks for the meaning. So for the meanings, um, it gives us that h of 17 is 300, or 3725. So we could say that there are 3,725 people at the park at t equals 17. And since the, the derivative gets the rate and our rate is negative, we know that the amount of people is decreasing. So we can write that the number of people begin to decrease at the rate of 380 people per hour at t equals 17. And that is our entire statement. For this problem, you get one point for the value and two points for the meaning. And also you get docked off one point if you do not state t equals 17. So once again, make sure you're very clear on all of your answers. Moving on to the last section of the question, question D. This asks, at what time t for 9 to 23 does the model predict the number of people in the park is a maximum? For this problem, we will, know, we will need to know how to find a maximum. For any part in the AP test, if it asks to find a minimum or a maximum, you must set the, the derivative equal to zero. And we know the derivative is h prime of t equals e of t minus l of t. So we must set this equal to zero. Also, we know that to solve for a maximum, we must find our critical numbers and our endpoints. So to do this, uh, doing this by hand can be very difficult and very messy. So I will, find, I will show you guys a very easy way, a simple trick to do this very quickly. Once again, we're on our calculator and you're going to want to go to math, scroll to the very bottom which says solver, press enter, and you will get something like this. Equation zero equals, and so I just plugged in, oops, sorry, I plugged in the equation e of t minus l of t, press enter, and now you will want to make a guess. So guess what you think x will be, and instead of pressing enter you want to press alpha and solve and that should get you your answer. It is telling us that x equals 15.794. So x equals 15.795, actually, I'm sorry. And now with this, we need to test all of our points. So this is our critical number, so we will test this. And we should get 3950.6. And if we test h of nine, we get zero and h23 is 1.01. .01. So out of all of this, it is clear to see that the maximum value that we can get is from plugging in t equals 79.5. So this is our answer. For this problem, you get points for the answer and the setup, so make sure you have this all nice and clear. And that is how you solve number two from the 2002 ABP Calculus AB free response question. Uh, down below, I will have 
other helpful problems, such as FRQs 2005 number 2, 2007 number 2, 2009 number 2, 2010 number 3, and 2013 number 1. I will have those linked down below, along with a video helping uh, using the solver function once again on our calculator, so you get extra practice with that. Thank you very much, and good luck!